welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a viral TikTok food hacks video. I'm super excited to be filming this video. If you guys are new to my channel, hi, my name is Blanca Yvette, and I do post videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays here on my main channel. I also have a vlog channel that I will have linked down below that I post on Mondays and Fridays. So for today's video, I do have a special guest joining me by the name of... Jaylee Nixo. <laughs> So for those of you guys who do not know who this little person is, she is actually my little niece. She is my sister's daughter, um, my sister Vivian's daughter, and you guys have probably seen her on my main channel, I mean on my vlog channel. You guys have probably seen her on my TikToks. Me and Jaleen have been taking over TikTok these past couple of days. We are coming for everybody and their moms for these TikTok dances, right? Right. A Renegade, Renegade, Renegade. <laughs> she has been teaching me all the TikTok dances, guys, and I still have not learned Renegade. Maybe we can do another video where she shows me uh, viral TikTok dances. I feel like that would be a really fun video, but today's video was actually her idea. Um, she wanted to do some food hacks that she's been seeing all over the internet. And if you guys want to head over to follow her, she does have a TikTok under jaylene.garcia because um i i um yeah <laughs> <laughs> i just i used to have it as jaylene xo but then like it got deleted and stuff so now i can't get the name back but yeah yeah and then she has an instagram under jaylene xo i will have all of her information linked down below for you guys so let's get on to the very first food hack okay so for this food hack we are going to need oreo cookies we're going to need some milk and a mug and, yeah and a mug or a little plate of yeah, your choice just, just yeah. something you can put in the microwave and then something to just smash the cookies while she smashes the cookies i'm going to show you guys the tiktok right here that we are actually going to be making <clears throat> this tiktok is actually going to make some bomb chocolate cake and I don't know. I don't believe it. What about you, Jake? I don't know. It looked pretty good. It looked like it made like a cute ass brownie. Yeah. So, but you really have to crush it all the way, and then you have to add milk. Like you have to make it into water like that. Yeah. Like all the Oreos have to be crushed. How long do you have to leave it in the microwave for? For a minute. We need to make a handshake, okay? Okay. So. You should put like, meanwhile. And then. <laughs> Classic. Sassy. Moving. Okay, that got us in trouble last time, so let's not do that on YouTube. I don't want to get copyrighted, okay? Okay, it's now done, and this one's good. So let's check on it. Okay. Oh my gosh. What? It actually it, it turned out good. Fluffy. It does. We Do just we... let it cool down. A it come. It comes out. It came out really good. I'm a little worried about trying this. Is this like normal? <laughs> Okay. We should let it cool down a little. No, va pegar choro. No. Cool down enough. So, grab your fork. Okay, wait for me. I know. Hold on, it's a little soggy. <laughs> it's a little soggy. Okay, ready? I think once it would get, once it would have gotten hard. Yeah, like it would have. We'll try it at the end of the video again. It tastes like marshmallow. I don't know. <laughs> I think we need to let it dry. Yeah. It's a little squishy. <laughs> <laughs> tastes like marshmallow. It tastes like chocolate cake though. 
It does. I just feel like it's a little mushy. It's a little mushy. So we're gonna pass on that one until the end of the video and see if it gets but hard. You should let it cool. Like actually let it like cool. Thirty minutes cool. You know. <laughs> we'll come back to that one. Okay. Okay. So, so we each have our own jar. mason jar, and then here, put some in the plate, and then I'll go get some. So we are going to need some tahin, some chamoy, and this one's already ready to just dip. Dip. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Those are the jaritos preparados. I'll do tamarindo, and then Jaylene will do pineapple, and then we'll switch and see if we like each other's. Yeah. I love pineapple jaritos, so I'm gonna love that one. Tamarindo, I'm not really a big fan of the tamarindo ones. Yeah. Um, okay, so dip. Dip that one. And then we dip. Ooh, I love it already. Do you like the heat? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Because you're kind of weird, you know? <laughs> going to decorate the cup. You pour the drink. You can be pouring it like a cerveza. Okay. So it didn't fill it up. But maybe we should throw some tahini in there. Sprinkle it. Okay, ready? Pour. And then we also got some little tamarindo flavored candy. Oh, the little. Oh. Mine's creating a concussion over here. Oh. Um, those are good. I like those. <laughs> Why is mine just sizzling? <laughs> What happened? <laughs> okay, don't mix it and don't put that heat on top. Yeah. Oh my god, I created like a volcano. A volcano. And I just sizzling too. Don't spin it. Don't spin it. Oh my god, why are they sizzling? Are they gonna sizzle on our stomachs? Oh no. It's like acid <laughs> reflex waiting to happen. Okay, taste it. Wait, there's bubbles coming out. Oh my god, yours is bubbling. <laughs> is that normal? <laughs> Who's trying to kill us on TikTok? Okay. Okay, ready? Try it. I got a lot of tahin. Is this one? Oh, this is. There's a lot of tahin. Um, it's good. I feel like it just tastes like a regular juice, but it kind of sizzles too much in your mouth. Yeah. Like you can feel the yeah. acid burning. And you can feel uh, like a lot. <laughs> like it'll like, like it's in the tahin on like the side. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a so lot. I vote this. I give this a. I give this a four. I feel like it's really good still though, uh -huh. so I give it a five. Because <laughs> you know, like, it's like you want to give it an extra chance. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the next one that we're gonna make are gummy bears and peach rings mix, and we are going to make them with chamoy, tahini, and limon. I'm gonna add the gummy bears and peach rings. I love peach rings. I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. My chicken. Okay. So, we're gonna add that you can add lemon. You could use lemon juice. We're using real lemon Yeah. Um. Okay. So you're, then you're gonna add tahin. How much tahin? Oop! I put a lot. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then what else? Chamoy. And 
just mix them all together. And make sure you mix them so they look like everything's on the bottom. So, okay. so then you're going to refrigerate them. So we're showing you guys how to make them right here, okay? We're gonna let those sit how long? 30 minutes. Oh, okay, 30 minutes. So we already had these pre-made just for the video so we wouldn't have to wait too long for them to be done. Those are still in there. This is the first time we're actually trying these and they look so freaking bomb, guys. Um, I'll show you guys exactly what they look like. We mixed some pea bears and yeah. peach rings. So which one do you want to try first? Um, the gummy bears. Gummy bears? Okay. I don't really like peach rings, that's why. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out of pork. No, it's right here. <laughs> she thought I was gonna give it to her. I was like... like <laughs> um, <Kirko>. okay. <laughs> I'm probably gonna spray it out. Why? You don't no. think you're gonna like it? No. I just know when I'm not gonna like something. Why? I don't know. I Explain. Just, I just know I know myself. Okay. okay. So I go. Oh, these are really hot. Mm -mm. What do you mean? You don't like them? They're hella good, guys. They're so bomb. And you made them at home. You can make these Actually, they when you have good. friends over, come out with all the little candy snacks. I feel like I would eat them, the but like I, I wouldn't mm. like, I wouldn't just crave them and be like, oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> craving these thingies. Let me just make them. <laughs> you wouldn't? No. Taste the peach ring. No. Please. Just taste it, please. You can spit it out if you don't like it, but you're going to like it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It'll work. laughs> Jalen! <laughs> you don't like it? Nope. Why? I'm sorry. I'm lighting us. Tell us why. What would you rate this? I would rate it a 7 out of 10. Okay, that's good. Yeah. But you didn't like it? I didn't like it. I feel like it's good, but I wouldn't eat it. For yourself? Do you think other people will like it? Yeah. It's bomb. I give it a 10. Like, they're really good. And I like that they're like fresh and wet. Because they, <laughs> they make these. You can sell them. You can buy them. But when, you, they, when they are delivered, they're just kind of like warm, you know? They're not freshly made. So right now that we just took them out the fridge. Fridge. I can't talk today. Fridge. They actually taste bomb. Y'all can have those tonight. Mm. <laughs> mm. Okay. So the next one we're going to be <laughs> sure. Like I'm done. I'm still eating these. I think those are best. I think those are the whole. You guys need to try these guys. Yeah. Okay. For sure. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to add cucumbers. Okay. Put some cucumbers. Just put a little bit, because in case we don't like yeah. it, that way we can save the cucumbers. Not too many more. Okay. So we're gonna add cucumbers. And then we're going to add some mango. You guys look up to sneeze. <laughs> Has anybody been like sneezing and holding their sneeze because you don't want people to panic? Because that's been me. <laughs> okay. Make him take a nap. It's okay, you can be in our video with us, okay? Yay! Okay, go. Hi, Mimish. <laughs> What's wrong? Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. So, now we added the mango. <laughs> <laughs> okay, add the mango. Okay. Babe, try those. It's all spaghetti. Okay. Just one, since we didn't add a lot. Today, Jalen, not tomorrow. I'm gonna add the little spaghetti strips, whatever they're called. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I'm done. I just added them to the mango. <laughs> okay. Cacao watches, but I, do you want to add cacao watches? Not really. Not the other cacao watches. No, these are different. Oh. Add these. This is to the export it in there, like sure. Let me see. No, like. It was coming out. Okay. Oh. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So then you're gonna add hot Cheetos on top. Here, babe, grab your son. Okay. Hold him right here so he can drink. Okay. I'm happy to give you a mango. Now that we okay. have all of this mixed up with this, you put these things. Um, Chuku pulp troquitos. <laughs> Fruit pulp pieces. You don't add. I don't know what these are. I've never had them in my life. You put no. hecka in here. Add some lemon. Mmm, I'm gonna eat hot Cheetos. Do you actually? Okay, some chamoy. So I don't know if this was just like a five year old making a bunch of ingredients together, but. We'll see if it's good. Okay, first? Yeah. Okay. Mango, a cucumber, hot Cheeto. Oh. Okay. Don't say anything yet, okay? Okay. I got where I'm sure. Think what I think. Alright, you go first. Who oh. decided that this would be good? Okay, let me go for it. Okay. So I feel like it's just like, like who, who wants to eat this? Like why are you just like, <laughs> like why? Like why are we just making this together? It's like all like the hot Cheetos taste good with the chamoy yeah, and it does. The, it's, the hot Cheetos taste good. Not gonna lie. Just like they always do. Yeah. I feel like you the fruit. Really the hot Cheetos. The fruit and the chamoy taste good because it's it just goes. But it together like, does not go. Nah. And I actually give this like a negative one. I I give it a like it's bad. I give it it's a nasty. Like I give it a, a negative one too. Like it's, like it's like, not even like a oh, okay, I can see why somebody would like it. I feel like it's just somebody trying to make something to make it look like like it's just like not okay. <laughs> like yeah, like, I give it a negative negative. I give it a one. Because I feel like it does have flavor, like the hot Cheetos taste good and stuff, but like it all together is just like ooh. I would never eat this. Yeah. <laughs> Still continues to eat it. Next one I'm actually really excited about, and we are going to be making hot Cheeto mozzarella sticks. So what you're gonna need is obviously hot Cheetos. You're gonna need some mozzarella sticks. cheese sticks. And then you are going to basically dip it in egg and fry them, and you're going to get your hot Cheeto mozzarella sticks. Okay. So first, you're going to have to open the mozzarella sticks. So, first. So, Jalen is gonna show you guys how to make them. They're supposed to look like this once you are finished. So, they're supposed to look all wrapped up like hot Cheetos, and then you're going to just fry them. Oh, and then you're gonna need some crushed up hot Cheetos. So just kind of, you're going to, Break some eggs. Yes. A fork. And then you're gonna need a fork to mix the eggs together. Just yeah, I'll mix it. Okay. So we smashed up some hot Cheetos. How did you smash them? Um, I just kind of like you can use anything. You can use this. You can use this. You can use a roller, but yeah, those are the eggs. Okay. Take your eggs. Okay. So. So now you're going to grab a fork. 
So I'm going to grab a fork. I'm going to poke the mozzarella sticks into the fork. Now I'm just going to dip it in egg, just like that. And then, so yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna, gonna try, try like out freezer and like okay, so they're all done. They kind of burned. Honestly, I felt like it was just very hot. So, we fried the mozzarella sticks. We have some ketchup and some marinara sauce. Just in case, I just don't know how I feel about hot Cheetos with this next year. Um, yeah. They got a little brown and burnt. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's supposed to, they're supposed to look like that. I personally probably would have baked them. Just because I feel like you have a little bit more control than aceite. I don't know why I feel like I, I would have <gasps> just baked them. Try it, dude. Go. They look cool. I'm actually going to dip them in. They're good. Yeah? Yeah. Mm, I prefer them like this. <laughs> I feel like the people creating these are like... Maybe because I just... My taste buds suck, guys. I'm the wrong person to be doing this because... It doesn't taste burnt. No, it tastes good. Dang, this tastes good. I give this a 10 out of 10. Let me try another one, okay? I give this a 10 out of 10. To be honest, I feel like it's good burnt. I feel mm. like they taste really good. They're just burnt. I feel like for me, I'm you, a you cheese like lover and a hot heat lover. No, they taste really, really good, guys. It's just I think I didn't cook them right. Like, I feel like they're, they could be... It could, could be, be better. Some, yeah. Like, yeah. I would give these like an 8. Yeah, I would too. Like, they taste, they taste good, it's just they're burnt. No, I like, would give this like a 9. And a half. Yeah, I really can't get the flavor that's like the like the burnt flavor out of them. I don't know. I really like it though. The food hack. So what you're going to need is bread. Bread, of course. And you're going to need cinnamon, sugar, and ground cinnamon, and Nutella. So we're going to put this in the microwave for 30 seconds. Back to stuff. So we're going to open the bread. And then we'll do two for both of us. We just do one because we have we have one right there. The bread out. It's very fluffy bread. <laughs> bread. Our bread is very fluffy. I think it's for French toast, that's why. Yeah. So, yeah, and then you're going to cut off the you want crust. Me cut you're giving me anxiety. Let me cut it. Okay. She cuts it. <laughs> you're giving me too much anxiety. Oh, that's smart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. So she rubbed the Nutella. Oh, it the bread. And then we're going to add strawberries and bananas. So let's just add. She loves strawberries. So now you're just gonna roll it up. Yeah. Cinnamon sugar and dip it in so we have a really big one, just because you know, like, you know, like trudels and stuff. They have like um, dried. Nobody comes on me. Okay, so scared. this is what it looks like, guys, and it actually looks so freaking good, and it smells amazing. So let's see. You think I'm gonna like it? No. I'm just kidding. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It tastes good. Did I? Mm-hmm. Did I spill on this? No. It tastes good. Kind of tastes like French toast. Yeah? Mm-hmm. I don't really like French toast. No? No. You told me that I like the real Nutella though. You can taste that. Okay. 
kind of bitter. Yeah. Sorry. It tastes good, guys. I would definitely recommend this one for you guys to try it. I would probably rate this one like a solid nine. The only thing missing is like I feel like it needed maybe a little bit more cinnamon sugar. Like I would probably do it like you would do a French toast. I would put like milk, egg, French toast, maybe fry it in butter. Like actually like cook it in butter instead of frying it with aceite. Um, but it tastes really good. I feel like... What do you give it a six? You give it a six? Why? Yeah. You don't like it? I feel like it tastes like very, like you could taste the cinnamon a lot. Really? Yeah. I feel like you couldn't taste it enough. Really? Mm-hmm. And then I, the strawberry was so powerful that it kind of just beat the banana. <laughs> that one didn't have banana. <laughs> oh, so the Oreo cake. We're going to come back to it and see how it, ooh, okay. Now it actually feels like cake. Like cake. Yeah, just like Oreo cake. Yeah. Add a little bit of ice cream on top. Oh, oh yeah. Hot and cold. Yeah. It tastes really good. It tastes like Oreo cake. I feel like you just. It's easy really if you're just like to crave. let it cool down a little bit. If you're just craving some cake real quick, put it in the microwave. Oh yeah. Tastes good now, huh? Yeah, yeah. I feel like earlier. I'm so it out. And the microwave so it kind of like yeah and it literally looks like cake guys like it looks like a brownie freaking bomb i like it i would rate i would rate that a nine ten now yeah just because it's so easy to do quick gets you some good cake and it's bomb yeah okay well guys those were the food hacks um if you guys know any more food hacks that you guys would like to try or have us try definitely send them my way i would love to do another video of these these were just kind of the ones that jaylene picked out and was like okay we need to try these um but what did you think was it a fun I, video yeah honestly i feel like i liked a lot of them i don't know you did you actually weren't as being as picky as me yeah i feel like i'm very picky like i'm very like i get hamburgers and like i only have them in the bun and like if i see like one pickle and I'll take it out like no like it's just like no yeah she's a very picky eater yeah she eats literally the chicken tenders and quesadillas all day yeah. <laughs> yeah but I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video guys thank you so much for watching make sure you guys head over to Jaylene's social media so you guys can go ahead and give her a follow like I told you guys she is the little tiktok queen <laughs> and I cannot wait for you guys to see all her tiktoks and until next time guys I will see you guys on my next video